call from the sheriff's department stating that they had a loose pony running down in Galena, right here in the city of Hoopa Valley, very close to our shelter. Um, so Sergeant Sanders and I loaded up the trailer, went down there, and a good Samaritan had opened their gates for the uh, deputies and housed the pony until we got there, which is you know, 30 minutes or so. We got there, saw the pony. Right off the bat, I knew it had to be owned by somebody. It was in really good condition, really nice demeanor, loaded in the trailer real quick and quick ride back to the shelter. And here he is. Um, it's a very, very rural area, a lot of horse properties out there, so I don't think it was a big deal. They had a large property. Um, I don't think they were too put out by it, but it was still nice of them to allow us, allow sheriff's deputies to put the horse there until we um, I was hoping somebody would come by and claimed it by now. Um, I'm assuming that they probably don't know that we have the capacity to house and pick up livestock, so they're probably going through the neighborhood looking for it, unfortunately. Um, I really do hope that they come down here and look for it and reunite with the pony. But yeah, a little bit surprised it's still here. Yeah, it's interesting. I think that uh, when most people think of animals coming to the shelter, they generally think dogs and cats, like the dog pound. But we really get a lot more animals that come into our shelters than just dogs and cats. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to put the word out that we found the po this pony because it's obviously been well taken care of, loved by somebody, had braids in its hair, was wearing a halter, it leads well on a lead rope, and it, you know it's some a pony that someone spent some time with. So it's obviously somebody's pet. She's very respectful. Um, she has very good manners. She leads well. She ties. She allows grooming, everything involved in general care, she allows. We wormed her today and had absolutely no problems. She also got her shots today, and we didn't have not a single problem. Actually, yeah, uh, when she came in and she had braids in her mane, I figured someone would be at the door immediately, but I'm assuming that maybe they went on vacation and they don't know yet. Um, I'm, I'm just hoping that we can find her family and get, them, get her back home.